What up geeks, welcome to the first of a new series where we're going to be taking a look at some of the bosses in Code Vein and giving you our general tips in how to deal with them. Now the first one you'll be up against in Code Vein is your pal of all of five minutes, Oliver Collins. Oh, I'm Oliver Collins by the way, nice to meet you. Yeah, Oliver Collins, yeah. That sounds like a real terrifying boss, doesn't it? Now, you'll come across Oliver at the end of your journey through the city underground when you manage to get back to the surface. But you won't be alone in this fight, as your new friend Louis, at this point called The Stranger, will be by your side. As Oliver is the first boss, you can expect he'll be a little bit on the tame side compared to the others. Um, but he can be tough if you're not prepared. So, he starts the fight with a warhammer and a few set moves. Uh, a slow vertical swing, an even slower overhead slam a vertical swing leading into an overhead slam, and a charge leading into a jump and an overhead slam. Now his moves are strong but extremely slow, so dodging him should be a piece of cake. Around the halfway mark, Oliver will double over and transform into a larger lost. Be careful when this happens, as an AoE blast couples with his transformation that will take quite a bit of health off you if you're too close. We now enter the second half of this fight, and while Oliver is now huge and more powerful, he's still just as slow. Big Oliver has similar attacks but now has an additional AoE attack. His usual moves consist of a triple overhead slam, each swing takes a while to bring down so dodging is easy enough, a double vertical swing leading into an overhead slam, again these swings are slow so dodging shouldn't be a problem, a horizontal swing leading into an overhead slam where he turns 180 degrees, if you're hacking away at his back here be careful to take note of his swing as it will catch you out if you're not paying attention. And he now has an AoE blast which will happen when he holds his arm in the air and brings his hand down into a fist producing a red glow. This takes just a few seconds, so you need to react to it quickly. Oliver is easy enough to take down regardless of your combat choice. There should be no issue dodging his attacks, and he's much slower than any of the lost you've fought so far. If melee is your style of blood code, it's a simple case of dodging, getting a few hits in, dodging away, and then rinsing and repeating. Oliver is the best boss to test out any ranged blood codes. As he doesn't have any sort of transportation moves, it's easy enough to keep your distance and practice some long range attacks and magic. Louis will keep him busy as well as he's melee based, so Oliver should focus most of his attention on him while you get some practice in. If Oliver does divert his gaze to you, your character should be fast enough to put some distance between you and him so he can carry on dishing out some ranged damage. Congratulations, you defeated your first of many Code Vein bosses. Now it's onwards to boss number two, the Butterfly of Delirium. 